Good morning everybody, it's Bamboo here. Uh, thanks for checking out another one of my videos, and today I just wanted to show you guys my new base. It's the same idea as the last one that I showed. You know, my town center is exposed uh, down here on the bottom, and everything else is, you know, super hard to get. I have all my wonders in the middle, fall, and then four compartments around that with some of the resources and the stronger defenses, and also the Acropolis effects, all eight of the uh, garrisons and stables. So it's you know much easier for people to just drop some troops, give me an easy shield, than it is to go for everything. So I feel like this is definitely the way to go if you're trying to climb medals, because you're really not going to win defense anyway. Um, so also I want to let you guys know that I started a new account so that I could make videos from the beginning. And currently that account just hit the Iron Age. And pretty soon I'm going to make my first video so you guys can see. And I'm going to try and go ahead and take the journey all the way up uh, to Enlightenment Age again. Uh, that way you guys can see the progress. And I'll show different base designs and layouts for the Iron Age as well as classical, medieval, and gunpowder as I go. So hopefully that's something you guys want to see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave the rest of the details on that for the next video, but that's going to be coming next. So for this video, before I let you go, I wanted you to see my base. And um, again, I'm finishing some upgrades on all my farms. Everything else is done, I'm waiting for the new update for the Industrial Age. Uh, as you can see, I have a training blessing. I've already done a few attacks this morning. And I'm going to do one more, so you guys can get a live attack in. And then uh, that'll be it for today. Well, this looks like exactly the type of base I was hoping for. Enlightenment age, but only level 74. So, yeah. I guess we'll go ahead and drop our four cannons. Our general, our knights, or our crusaders. And you see I made three Gatling gunners. I'm pretty much bringing those on every one of the raids now. I just feel like they're incredibly good and worth bringing along, even for eight troop space. And I'm really excited when the uh, when I finish my upgrade on them and I get the new version. I assume will be quite a bit better. I mean, look at them just tearing up those knights. That's awesome. Looks like we're doing pretty good on this raid so far. I'm gonna rally everybody together. Yeah, the only thing you got to be careful when you're doing attacks, no matter who you're attacking, if your troops get super separated, and especially if your your tanks, you know, your crusaders or knights get away from your cannons, that could definitely be bad. So I try to keep them in the same side of the village during the raid. And yeah, I know some of you guys have asked a little bit in the comments, like why a lot of my raids I don't have a, <clears throat> I don't have the cannons anymore. Well, as you can see, I have them right now, and I actually do use them, but when I'm doing a, as many raids as I can in a short time, I don't always use cannons because it takes so long to make. I usually start out with three or four, but as, they, as I lose them, I just make whatever's quicker. But yeah, I, I really like the cannons. I like the Gatlin guns. You know, I like using all the different troops. And my level 12 general is currently shooting the town center. Yeah, this guy's awesome. Boom. Looks like it's going to be a pretty easy win. And I'll get to keep most of my troops, which is definitely a plus. Somehow I lost a cannon, I think, to a spike trap. So yeah, the next raid will have three cannons, and then as that keeps happening, I'll eventually not have any. But I always remake them in the supply carts uh, toward the end. They just take a while. So yeah, we got plenty of time. Let's rally everybody over here. Looking pretty good. General still at full health. We're going to have enough time. You can see the storehouse doesn't show any uh, trade goods outside, so he probably doesn't have too much. Oh, I got a piece of metal though, sweet. Okay, so as you can see, um, yeah, I got one medal for that. And, and while we're talking about my medals, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, I've really been trying to climb metals, but it has not been working out too well the last few days. I keep uh, losing attacks here and there, and it just costs so much when that happens. So I'm still over 2,300, but my goal really is to hit 24, so I'm trying to push to that. Well, everybody, I hope you liked the video, and yeah, stay tuned for my next video, which will be with my new account that's currently in the Iron Age, and I'm going to share a little bit of beginner tips on that and just, you know, what you should look for as you advance. So, yeah, hope you guys have a good weekend.